Which words should I use when I search? Grid Exercise, Generating Search Terms for Online Research, Part 1, from the library at Spokane Community College. Each time you begin to research a new topic, you may wonder which search words should I use? In this demonstration, you'll see a pre-research exercise called a grid exercise, which will help you decide which words to try when you're searching for information online and how to combine multiple concepts together in your searches. You'll also see a brief demonstration search in the databases ERIC and ProQuest. Once you've generated search terms, you can use them to find articles and other information in library databases like ProQuest and ERIC. You may also use your search terms in web search engines like Google and use them when you're searching library collections of ebooks, books, articles, and other research information. The grid exercise has three steps. One, decide how many core concepts are in your question. Two, draw a grid. Three, brainstorm synonyms and related topics. Once you've completed these three steps, you're ready to try your search terms online. When you first start your research, your topic may be very broad. That's okay. For this demonstration, let's assume you're researching educational barriers. Step one in the grid exercise is to decide how many core concepts are in your question. Clearly, there are two core concepts in this example topic, education and barriers. Step two in the grid exercise is to draw a simple grid. If you have two concepts, draw two columns. At the top of column one, write education. At the top of column two, barriers. Step three is to brainstorm synonyms and related topics. Start with column one. When searching, what are some other words or phrases you might use instead of education? Well, you might try the word learning or school, or you might choose to research a particular type of school like high school, or a particular type of student like college students, or maybe a specific area of study like science, or maybe you're familiar with terms used by educators like the term STEM, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. These are just a few example searches, but you can see how there could be hundreds of different search terms that you might think of. Also, after you've searched a bit, you may find other words or phrases in library databases or elsewhere. If they're interesting, add them to your list. We'll add at-risk students and academic achievement. This is a good point to interject a very helpful search technique. When you're searching for sources which contain a phrase, by this we mean a string of words together in a particular order. Enclose that phrase in quotation marks. You need not use quotes for a single word, but for a string of words like high school, quotation marks will force a database or search engine to retrieve only items which contain those words next to one another in the order you asked for. Using phrase searching will make your results narrower and more relevant. In our examples, we should put quotes around the phrases college students, at-risk students, and academic achievement. Now let's think about barriers. What synonyms or related terms come to mind? You might choose a specific barrier, like poverty, or the phrase food insecurity. Maybe you're interested in researching a learning disability, like ADHD. When searching, we might try also typing out the abbreviated phrase attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And again, after you start searching, you may discover other interesting search terms like achievement gap and high poverty schools. Now you're ready to try some searches. You can pick one search term from column A and one from column B and try a search in an article database like ERIC or ProQuest or using a web search engine like Google. If you don't get any useful results, come back to the grid and choose other search terms. Here's a brief demonstration of an ERIC search using our grid generated terms. I've chosen the phrase college students in quotations and the word barriers, and I'm doing a search in ERIC. ERIC is a free article and report database. All of the information in ERIC is about the field of education, so that's why I started here. I've typed in my search terms, and I've done my search. I have over 2,000 article results, and now it's a matter of skimming the title and seeing if there are any articles that look like they're of interest. Here's one, students' views of the promoters and barriers to first-year college persistence in Ireland, a partnership study. That might be an interesting article to read and I can use it as an information source. If I decide I'm not interested in studying students in Ireland, I can keep looking for other articles.
Here's another one that looks interesting, and it's got some search terms that I hadn't thought of before. It's called Barriers to College Success Among Students That Experienced Adverse Childhood Events. It's an article in the Journal of American College Health, and it was published in 2019. So you get the idea. Use your search terms, see if there are any articles that you find interesting, and if not, go back to your grid and try different search terms and different combinations. A note about ERIC, because it's a free database provided by the United States Department of Education, some of the articles are full text and some are not. If you find an article that's not available full text, meaning the whole article is not freely available online, ask for that article from an SEC librarian. We will get it for you for free from another library and we'll email it to you. The turnaround time for an interlibrary loan article is typically three business days, but it could be as long as a week and it could be as short as an hour. Another note about ERIC, if you find a source that's on a topic that you're interested in, look at the descriptors. These are keywords and phrases that the authors of the article and the organizers of ERIC have created in order to group articles of like kind and make them easily searchable. Example descriptors from this article, barriers, academic achievement, college students, and student characteristics. If you find some descriptors that fit what you're searching for, add them to your grid and certainly use them in another search. In ERIC and library databases, these descriptors are hyperlinked, so I can easily search all of ERIC or all of the articles on the topic of college students. Notice the filters on the left side of your ERIC search results that let you narrow your search by date, by descriptor, and if you scroll down, by education level, like higher education, and location, like United States. Now we'll try a search in our ProQuest database. ProQuest is a database of articles and other information purchased by the SCC library for SCC students to use. Like ERIC, it searches articles, reports, and other information sources. Unlike ERIC, ProQuest contains information on all topics, not just education. I could go back to my grid and again choose one topic from column A and one from column B, but in my searching I decided I'm interested in indigenous students and trauma. So I'm trying that search. Because ProQuest gives me so many results, I'm using the filters on the left hand side to narrow my search to only articles from scholarly journals, only articles that are available full text, and only articles that were published within the past 10 years. And now you know what to do. Scroll through the titles and see if there are any that look interesting. Here's an article called Trauma-Informed School Programming, a Partnership Approach to Culturally Responsive Behavior Support. So it will probably talk about trauma, indigenous students, and it looks like it's going to pose some possible solutions to this educational barrier problem. I'll click on the full text PDF. I can look at the whole article and read it online. I can email it to myself or print it. And there's a Cite button I can click to get a pre-formatted MLA citation, which I can copy and paste and put in my Works Cited page. In this demonstration, you've seen the grid exercise used with a very simple topic, educational barriers. To see it used with a more complex topic of the type you might create for an actual assignment, and to see other ways of finding search terms, watch the next video in this series. Research can be a complex process, so you can always contact librarians via 24-7 help linked on the library homepage anytime you have questions or want help.